What's up guys, Nate here. I'm gonna give you a little update on the five ton. I'm working on the frame extension right here. Let's see, this is a 1083 variant. So this here used to come down to here. It was the deck and then they had the um, fifth wheel hitch mounted up here. So cut this open, spread it open so that our sleeve could go right inside. And our sleeve, pretty cool, fits in pretty close here. And then what we're gonna do up top is just use this eighth inch plate to fill in this. So I'll have another strip up top here. So that will, height will match up on the same. And uh, same thing over here. Cut it, get all this straightened out and welded. That'll be good to go. You can see the rest of the suspension stuff we're gonna hook up. Um, and the reason we're extending the frame this far, so I can put a 20 foot box on number one, and number two, I can still tow. And I'm gonna have a hydraulic lift back here for spare tire and motorcycles. So that's the main reason for stretching the frame out that far. That way you can mount all that stuff to the frame, not to the subframe, because the subframe is gonna articulate on top of that. The steel for it is over there. I came in today um, for all the subframe stuff, which is awesome. So things I'm working on, uh, removing the winch stuff. You can see some hydraulic fluid. I got one more hose. There used to be the winch valve body was right in there. There's the winch. I've got all those bolts loosened, so that's ready to drop. Um, the There was another hose that runs. Up there is the PTO inside that cave. This used to be the winch reservoir and everything. You can see the big drain uh, draw pipe off the bottom of the reservoir would go up there to the PTO. And this guy here is also part of the PTO. So that's gonna get removed. That's gonna be pretty fun to get to you can't quite see it but right there is one of those bolts there's six of them one two and three up there and then there's three down there on the bottom you no know idea if you can see that or not you drop the front drive shaft and that'll come out um other things i'm working on is getting rid of this piece here this piece had a cross brace that went under i got that out already um these things slid out to about here, and that's what the military would attach the parachutes to. So, it's kind of cool, I'll show you this too. This drops the suspension. So this here, this plate comes off, goes down there onto that, you extend this, pin those on, retract this, and it sucks the front suspension down just enough for this to get inside of an airplane. Then they would hook these up to the parachute and drop them out drop them out of the airplane. These are also used for helicopter lift, um, for it's enough to lift these guys up. So basically everything from here back is going away. All of this mess is gonna get rerouted, battery lines, hydraulic pump and reservoir, ABS controller, all those lines over there. These guys will all get rerouted so we can push that box all the way up to about here. So as close as we can get, we're gonna move these on the other side um nothing forward from here is going to change but that is pretty much where i got to today you can see i had to burn these bolts out these i don't know people kind of call them huck bolts um it's like this and this whole thing is like a giant lock nut they're not really designed to come off so they stay tight even all the way out so basically just take a torch and you cut the bolts off Let's see some slag and crap there uh, Here's the bolts. Yeah, I don't know, they're still kind of warm. Um, yeah, you can see what these are like when I cut them off. So that is super fun. Um, what else is going on? On the other side, I can show you bump stops. Nice thing about these tires, they're so big you can use them to put parts on <laughs> and tools. Um, so here's the winch, that's all coming off. Got all the hoses off of that today. The gas tank is gonna go 
Um, got all the winch cabling stuff that was out of here is out. Um, gas tank's gonna go. This is a 58 gallon. Putting in 100 gallons, so I'll have double the reserve, double the capacity. This is um, the valve control for all the hydraulics. So all of these hydraulic lines have to go somewhere. Not quite sure. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, here's this other kneeling valve, air brake lines, airbags for the cab ride, um, Jake brake, exhaust brake, alternator. It says that alternator is huge. Anyway, um, that is pretty much that. Here's the tap. cabs tilted up back out here. And there's the new gas tank, 100 gallon um, fuel tank. It's gonna go on that other side. Weave room for a generator. And yeah, so that's about where I made it today. Um, any questions, post down below and I'll get back to you. Have fun guys, see you later. Oh yeah, I hate to have to say this, but don't forget to subscribe, like button and comment. If you have any questions on this stuff, um, people help me out a lot by responding to my questions and comments. So I'm happy to do the same. I don't know much, but what I do know, you're welcome to it. All right, catch you guys soon.